when I came to you uh, uh, for the briefing or not for the brief for the joint project on smelt, um, what were the things which uh, were your biggest inspiration to start off the fragrance uh, creation? Well, first I wanted to say <coughs> right away I was very delighted to be included in the cement project because of course I know Tanya and uh, we, uh, we love to exchange from uh, um, knowledge of ingredients, knowledge of how to apply them, knowledge of diffusion which is a big key factor for candle creation and then how she described to me the smell brands because that brand I did not know in perfumery of course, I think it's uh, one of their uh, first projects of that kind, at least. Exactly. And uh, that uh, uh, the smell gentleman uh, found this fragrance uh, or found, let's say, an accord that I had made uh, at uh, Tanya's place with already some of those feathery and, and uh, textural uh, aspects to it. That's also very, well, very interesting and how the person could already imagine how to build on that. Uh, then, of course, there are two things close to my heart. So, number one, we started to talk about animals. So, I love, love, love animals. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know, but I wanted to be a vet. Uh, also, <clears throat> I know you wanted to know earlier what was the first fragrance I ever remember. Yeah, exactly. And, and uh, what total that? coincidence, when I try, you know, usually they say it's as of four or five years old. And I'm really trying to remember, and I always come to the smell in New Caledonia, which is an island you're going to understand close to the concept of the smell. And uh, it's this island off of Australia, uh, north of uh, New Zealand, which means closer to the equator, not far from Fiji, from Vanuatu, so New Caledonia. When and were you there? Did you live there? Did you yeah, live there? Years. And so, and, I, and actually, when I was four, I was there. So it's normal, it's one of the very few. And I remember the smell of this bay at the sea. So New Caledonia is the second largest coral reef in the world. Mm -hmm. And you're at the beach. It's called the Angel Bay, La Bay des Anges, which was behind our house, if I remember properly. We were not at the beach, but we were not far. And it's like very flat, there's the sand, you would go and get uh, seashells and everything. You have the palm trees in the back, and then you have the, the city that is right there, the capital city in Lumia. And I don't know what what's the smell? Uh, but it's the, the sea, and then there is this uh, freshness coming from the wood that was right there. Mm -hmm. The Pays it was not full of sun, and, uh, and the sea, even at low tide, it smells fresh and like fresh uh, shells. Cool. And I don't know, I've always had that smell and that remembrance.